Hey guys, it's Lance from McV Audio, and I'm continuing my test with Pro Tools 11 and Mavericks. Um, as you can see, I'm recording on a track right now via my MacBook Pro's internal mic into Pro Tools. I don't have any hardware hooked up to the MacBook Pro at the moment, so I'm running Pro Tools 11 HD um, just off the MacBook Pro. But I was able to record 48 tracks for two hours with no issues, and I tried to do things like put the screensaver on and you know clear the desktop swipe between that to that back forth all the stuff that you really shouldn't do when you're recording but um, it didn't hiccup once very solid and the other thing is that you can see the system usage here at uh, only about seven nine percent and I'm set at a buffer of am I still set at that buffer let's check the buffer yes a buffer of 32 samples that's the shortest buffer you can have and I'm having absolutely no glitches it's almost hard to believe um, and I have the channel strip running on every channel uh, which is not, a, you know, it doesn't use up a lot of system usage, as you can see. 2% uh, when I'm not recording. The memory is at 22%. I have 8 gigs of RAM in my MacBook Pro. This is a quad-core i7. So even though it's a quad-core, it shows as 8 cores in Pro Tools 10 and 11 because it, it uses the, um, the hyper-threading of the cores. Uh, making it think that there's two cores there, something like that. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty impressed overall. It's It's been very solid. And um, I do know that you have to have your iLock installed in the MacBook Pro before you boot it to get Pro Tools to run. I've run into it twice where I try to move my iLock over here and plug it in and then launch Pro Tools while the computer was already on and Pro Tools would not launch. So you have to put the iLock in first, then boot the computer, which you should probably do it that way anyway. But I know that I've pulled my iLock um, in Lion and switched it to a computer that was on and then launched Pro Tools and I didn't have an issue. So that seems to be one little bug um, that I haven't encountered before. So uh, whether it's a bug or not or just the way it's going to be, I don't know. But uh, anyway, insert your iLock first, boot the computer, then boot Pro Tools. But um, so far, you know, I haven't done a ton of tests yet, but I'm impressed. It seems really rock solid as far as recording and recording at low buffers with a lot of tracks. Let's just try this. Let's put all the tracks in record. So I've got all 48 tracks in record. We're going to record that at a buffer of 32. And hit the old record button. They went into record like that. Yeah, and look at the CPU, 9%, barely messing with it, at a buffer of 32. Wow. I mean, I'm impressed. My old system, or this, even my Mac Pro, which is a 2008, I don't know why I'm pointing over here, because it's in the closet over there. <laughs> but um, my Mac Pro usually will glitch at a buffer of 32, just on one track. But uh, the MacBook Pro has an i7 2.6 quad-core chip in it, and it's pretty impressive. Um, so there you see we're recording 48 tracks at a buffer of 32. Wow. See, I don't even have ignore errors during playback record. I'm just, it would show an error if there was an issue. We got a normal disk cache. I could put it into RAM, but I don't need to for recording. Um, I'm going to give it another test. And we're really going to mess with it. We're going to swipe away, swiping, swiping, clearing the desktop. This can do it. How about launching another app? Something simple like Quick, Quick Time Player. All right, let's be mean to it. Let's launch Photoshop. Okay, we just launched Photoshop. Aha! Uh -huh. No, it's still recording. That's amazing. I'm impressed. 
So here we are, 48 tracks at 48K, 24-bit, a buffer of 32, and we're still able to record. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta like it. These things would always normally just set it off in error, but no error. Oh, counter stop for a second there. Let's try that again. Wow. Buffer of 32. I mean, holy crikeys. Now the major question is, once I get hardware connected to it, will it be as solid? I would guess with the Mbox Pro, it may not be, because uh, that's running over Firewire, so there's nothing competing for that buffer of 32 right now. Uh, it's not going out of the box. It's not coming into the box and then coming back out of a box. You know, it's not, it's not having to stream the audio. It's just doing it all internally with the internal sound card, which is probably very quick. Um, quick enough to do this. So there you have it. Pro Tools 11 recording 48 tracks at a buffer of 32. Wow.